There was a dead bird here. A few weeks ago, a bird hit the window and lay dead on this porch for a few days. No one even noticed it until I smelled it. Even though the carcass was taken away, I can still smell the death on the porch. And it's even rained a few times, but a dog's nose is so much better than a human nose that I can still smell death where no one else can. I'm worried about that bird. Jesus asked his disciples, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. Even though Pastor didn't see the dead bird for a few days, God saw it. God sees so much more of our lives than we do. And even though that little bird died and fell to the porch, Jesus said God was never apart from him. God loved and cared for even that one little small part of his creation. How much more do you think he sticks with you and me? If even little birds are worth his presence, then he must also care for us in our lives and even in our death. St. Paul says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Pastor says, God's nose is even better than mine. When God smells me, he doesn't smell Ollie, or my life, or even my stinky sins. He smells the death of Christ and his new life. And that death and resurrection covers me and claims me and you as his own. Amen.